Dunbass Dunnix taking on Rungstead Zaire Capital. Rungstead Zaire Capital looking for a series sweep. They took game one, 3 2 in a shootout. 55 seconds in, it looked to be the same fate. Frederick Durham buries a beautiful feed from Nikolai Rosenthal. Just 55 seconds into the contest, his first goal of competition, and it was one to nothing. Dunbass try to return fire, but David Gruback with a big glove save here against Andre Sigarev kept the game at one to nil. Dunbass had several chances on the man advantage, and they also had some odd man rushes go for them. The unfortunate thing for them, though, was Rungstead Zaire Capital had some good play on the blue line. Yochim Mueller breaking up that feed at the end of the first period of play. It was still one to nothing. Vitaly Lialka had a big second period for Dunbass. This shot right here from the top of the circle goes off the shoulder of Grubak. It was still one to nothing, but you felt the heat was coming from Dunbask as they were looking for the equalizer, but it would have to wait. Andre Pison on the man advantage here on that one-timer goes top shelf against Andre Makarov, makes it two nothing, Rungstead Zaire Capital. It's a perfect pass in the slot, and for Pison, it's his first goal. We mentioned the Alka, though, as he goes back to work on the man advantage this time, Looking from near the circle and in the slot has his shot banking off of Pavel Medvedev off his kneecap as he indicated as much. That's his second goal of competition. His first on the day, the lead was now cut to 2-1. to one. Rungstead Zayer Capital tried to extend the lead. Nikolai Rosenthal has that shot gobbled up nicely by Andre Makarov. As we trek into the third period, it was still 2-1 to one. Rungstead Zayer Capital. Tim Daly though on the man advantage would make it 3-1 to one with this rocket of a blast. His first goal, CHL. Giannis Voris had no chance on it. It was now 3 to 1. Dunbass would not roll over, though. Parasinko on a deflection out in front beats Grubak, making it 3 2. Rungstead Zayer Capital. So things decided to get more interesting as we got later into the affair. Nikita Zuldikov, though, with the equalizer just two minutes after that. Zuldikov, his first goal, beating Grubak to the glove side, and it was 3 to 3. Gustav Green tried to get the game uneven again, but that feed coming back his way was broken up. Ten minutes into the third period, and now in the closing minutes of this game, the other team having many chances, so we had to go for an extra session. And that's where we got the game winner. Just 29 seconds into overtime, Hampus Gustafsson goes top shelf against Boris, making it 4-3. The game winning goal puts Rungstead Zaire Capital in the driver's seat for Group G competition.